Hello everybody, Calibus here, back with some more Hearthstone. Today we're going to be taking a look at one of my decks. It's actually a deck I already made a video of. It's my Paladin Gold deck, my Goldedin. But uh, I have leveled up my Paladin a bit. He's up to uh, level 50, so I've unlocked a lot of new cards. So it's an uh, update, so it's a uh, Paladin Gold video 2.0. So let's take a look at some of the new cards that we got real quick. We're running... Two Blessings of Might, Hand of Protection, Argent Squire, Leper Gnome, Young Dragonhawk, Holy Knight, Holy Light for a little bit of healing, Knife Juggler, Sun Fury Protector, Youthful Brewmaster, which I don't have a lot of things that are good for maybe Battle Christ and stuff, but it's still a 3 2 for 2, and it's gold, so it's in there. Fleshing Goal, Imp Master, which works good with the Knife Juggler. Um, two True Silver Chaps, which is good for any Paladin deck. Some Blessing of Kings, two of those. Two Consecrations, also a card that you'll see in most Paladin decks. Two Hammers of Wrath, give me a little bit of card draw. Um, Dark Iron Dwarf, uh, Abomination, Fan Creeper, Silverhand Knight, Stampeding Kodo. Two Strangled Thorn Tigers. Uh, one Sunwalker, and then two Guardian Kings to end the deck, top it out with a little bit of healing and a bit of a tough minion. So it's not bad. It's the gold cards I got to work with. Uh, we're going to see how it go. It matches up in rank mode. See if we can't pull off some wins with it. Right now, I'm ranked 14, which is pretty much right where it starts to get where you start playing the players that know a little bit more of what they're doing you don't really expect people to start making too many mistakes once you get third or 14 or lower so it should be a little bit more competitive than if I was playing at the just starting out playing the rank 25 20 or whatever oops wait that's the wrong deck. I want to do Golden Den deck. Good thing it took forever. Golden Den. That's the Paladin. That's the Paladin I want to do. I want to do the gold one. Alright, now you can start the match. Let's go. Come on. There you go. It's time for the Midas touch. Lex. Lex. Alright. We will toss our Abomination and our Fan Creeper. Keep our, keep our gold. Let's keep the gold. There you go. Pull up a Knife Juggler. Some Fury Protection. Not bad. Boom. And we're going to start out with the Leper Gnome. We're going to go a rush deck. Let's see if this hunter's playing the typical I'm going to rush you down deck. He'll probably throw up a Leper Gnome too. Oh, arcane shot. Oh, he takes out the Leper Gnome. You don't do that if you're playing rush. Save those for my face. Alright, so... Knife juggler? Put this apple on your head. So again, still waiting to see if there's going to be... Oh. Coining with the panther. Right. Do, do, do. So multi shot cost four, so I think I think we play the the goal. Can't multi shot yet, he already used his coin. Alright. 
Now he has a choice. Does he take out the knife juggler? Does he take out the goal? Or does he go for my face? He's targeting the goal. He might have a kill command that he might want to use now. Do you want to kill command the goal and no, he's got an animal companion and get taunt. And he's gonna go for my face. Alright, so I can consecrate here. Thinking I Dark Iron Dwarf my my knife juggler and hope he hits the panther and then run my knife juggler into the bear but it's one in three chance that he hits the panther and if he if he hits the bear that just sucks but we're gonna do it we're gonna run it in Hit the path. Oh, that's some RNG for you there. That's that was ideal. Now we're gonna take out the bear, and that's gonna pump up the goal. There you go. Bring it on. Hit him for five damage. He could multi shot here. That will kill the goal. It won't kill my dwarf. All right, kill commanding probably the goal. Gotta take that out. And I don't think does he have a one drop? Doesn't look like it. Alright. Think let's He hasn't shown that much of a rush yet, so I'm thinking do we do the Fang Creeper or the Tiger? I think we do the Tiger, because then we could some fear protect both my people next turn after I get my tiger out of stealth from attacking, so hit him there. Hit him. Got some good Good cards. We got area effect if he throws out a bunch of weak people. If he has his Unleash the Hounds, he's only getting two cards. Uh, Animal Companion, he's going to grab a Yuck. A buffer. Maybe not what he was hoping for. Maybe not what he was hoping for. And... I think... I was going to give some here protector, but again, he hasn't, I mean, oh, that's a good choice. That, that works too. <laughs> Bonus stars. Yay. Oh, almost 51. I'll get a golden stormpike commando when I hit 51. All right, let's play another one. You want to see another one, guys? You? All right, we'll do another one. Here we go. Here we go. So... I don't know, is that a regular hunter? He wasn't rushing me down? Hmm. Well, it is only rank 14. You don't really get the aggro hunter clones until you get up to maybe 10 or usually. So, I mean, right now, rank 14 and stuff, you're still likely to see any deck anything. Don't see the clones where everybody runs. Well, speaking of clones... A lot of hunters, a lot of blocks. Alright, we'll keep our consecration. We'll keep our blessing of might. We will toss the kings and try to get a lower minion. Try to get our leper gnome. Uh, toss, sorry, nine. Leper gnome or uh, Arch and Squire. Yeah, no, that's not. Well, okay. Look at my golden coin, it's all shiny. See it? Yeah. Alright, no turn one plays. We're going to just end turn, give the lock a chance to do something. He might tap himself if he's a hand lock. Or giant lock, whatever you say. You can usually tell by turn two if he's going to be a rush lock or a hand lock. If he taps himself, he might be a hand lock. Hand lock means you try to he tries to increase his hand as big as possible so he could play mountain giants early and then he lets his life get down low so he could play molten giants and give them taunt. Aggro locks usually on turn one is gonna play a flame imp. Um Murloc locks usually play turn one blood imp or void walker if they have it. 
I mean, if he was a handlock, he would have tapped like right away. So I'm not sure if this guy's gonna have giants in his deck or not. I mean, he wouldn't even have. You wouldn't be waiting to tap. It would be like, oh, I'm not playing up the turn one, and I'm definitely tapping turn two. Manly toast. Manly toast. And there's the tap. And nothing for three, so my only play right now make a little guy. He might mortal coil it if he has it, which will give him a card draw, but yeah. I don't know, this guy must have a lot of choices in his hand or else uh he just wants to make the perfect play every time. What's your turn three play, sir? Void Walker, why do you call Leopard Gnome? So, I think, I think we coin maybe? Maybe we pull out the weapon? Maybe we smack the Void Walker down? And take out the little leper gnome. There we go. Let's see what he got for turn four. Better not be a news. So two consecrations might. It master. Um, if I don't pull another card that I'd rather play, I'll probably go play the Imp Master. Unless, of course, he plays a bunch of low cost, like a bunch of Murlocs or something that needs to get consecrated. But most likely, the play for me next turn is going to be Imp Master. And if he puts out something that I need to kill with my True Silver, that will also be a thing. I might. I might Imp Master and then hand of protection to Imp Master so you can't like do something and kill it. Uh. So hmm. Imp Master. For justice. Smack the golem down. Smack him down. And I don't know. I mean, it's not going to lose his bubble because he makes an imp, right? Better not. It shouldn't. It's not like he's actually taking damage. No, he keeps his bubble. Oh, no! It ate his bubble! Ah. Uh, that's not. I thought it was going to just lower his health. Oh no, I guess it's still one damage. I guess reading the cards is a good idea. You want to be good at Hearthstone? Learn to read the cards. So it deals one damage to the minion, so that bubble was kind of a waste. All it was, did was produce me an extra... Extra imp. I mean... I, well... Sugar sticks. Alright. So... Hey, we we could. Well, let's just let's just Let let's play the Kodo. Sure, why not? Let's play the Kodo. It's there. Kill the two one, and just smack him in the face. There's a. I, mm, I could have like kings to her, blessing the might to take out the Drake. He'll probably use his Drake on my imp master this turn, which is gonna happen probably. I mean, why wouldn't you take the imp master off the board before she could produce too many minions? All right. Oh. Hitting me in the face. That's that's a thing. You're allowed to do that. That's fine. Um 
so we we are we well what we're gonna do here is we're gonna clear the board we're going to kings her and obviously we're not gonna hit the drake we're gonna take out the yeti with her there you go take out the yeti and we're gonna might my Kodo so he's strong enough to take out the Drake and now my board is gonna be super susceptible to Hellfire so if he has a Hellfire it is 100% coming out so now we're just saying no Hellfire which yeah it's probably, probably his first card he's probably been holding on to it this whole time go ahead play it play it and I'll just be sad or that's another play you could make that that was also a good choice well played bonus star Damn, I'm a pirate I'm a pirate All right. so let's that's working out pretty well so far let's play another one you guys want to see another one sure you do well they're like why wouldn't we want to see another one let's, let's see another one do it all right We got this. Can we make it three in a row with the super powerful gold paladin deck? This gold deck is money. Get it? Gold. Money. Yeah. Boop, 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 doo, doo. Alright, we'll keep the flesh eating goal, toss our six, seven creatures. Okay, yeah, dokey. Mm, gonna sit around and do nothing for the first turn. Druid is going to coin something right off the bat. There he is. Coin it. Bringing out the loot hoarder. So, nothing I could do but make my recruit, which is going to probably get herald powered. And then the loot hoarder will just stay alive and hit me in the face. I don't think he'll trade. Not when he could just take my guy off the board. There it comes. Herald power. Kill the recruit. Hit me in the face with the loot hoarder. Do a little damage before he gets the card draw from it. Um, I can... If I make my goal, he's going to run his loot hoarder into it. Well, he'll attack me first and then he'll run his loot hoarder in it and kill it. If I make my dragon hawk and my... Recruit might he might hero power one of them and then kill the other one with this. He'll hero power the dragon hawk. I think let's flush any goal here. Maybe he has a wrath or something else to deal with that. But he might oh well, he's gonna claw and hero power up. To be able to do three damage and just take the goal out, and he's gonna keep his order alive for longer. And I eat another two damage. That thing's gonna kill me all by itself. All right, now we got a leper no. It's our game. <laughs> Son of a. Eh. I think we just end this now and give us both a card. Let's let's take them out now. Give me another card, another option for next game. Next turn. So, definitely not having a. Are you kidding me? That's gonna get knife juggled. That I have to hit that. Knife juggle coming up. Here we go. Have a golden knife juggler. 
have a leopard node. Throw that knife at him. There you go. Yay. Um, don't want to play the dragon hawk. No, he might be swiping now. We'll make the recruit so he throws another dagger. There you go. And another dagger. We'll see if a swipe comes. There's the swipe. Alright, we're fine with that. Let's throw out a Fang Creeper. Let's throw out an Argent Squire. She got the shield protecting her. We'll see how he deals with my little Fang Creeper with his little, little fishies in the water. Do, 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 do. He's a trick. That's probably gonna get hammered or rough hand. Uh, actually, actually, we'll hold on to the hammer wrath and we're gonna put up our weapon first. There we go, take a weapon charge. Take out the Drake. None of that silliness. Hit him in the face. Hit him in the face. We'll throw it out a recruit. Um, still holding on to that young dragon hawk. Maybe play that the same turn that I pull a blessing of kings or something, or a divine shield or something. Something that's gonna help it keep alive. I mean, the taunt helps protect it from just like being hit down from a hero power, but a swipe would kill it just with its extra damage. Uh, you can wrath, wrath is still. Keeper of the Grove it. Right, a little healing. A little protection. Right. We are going to... For justice. Hit him. And... We're going to... Hit him, get a new card, grab me another weapon, and hit him in the face, hit him in the face, hit him in the face, and turn. So, of all my golden cards, my golden consecration is the best, I, are my favorite, at least as far as, well that wasn't nice. That wasn't cool. That was not... Uh, all right, fine. For justice. I just have to eat this now. Have to hit him. I don't really just want to skip my turn. Kill him. Throw a crude at him. Heal myself up a little bit. And poke at him. And poke at him. So that stupid tree wasn't very fun. So as I was saying, my favorite like spell card golden version so far that I've seen is the Consecration. Got a lot going on in it. You got the fire with the little smoky ash coming off of it. You got lightning in the background. Uh, guy up there with his sword. So Where shall I why is he throwing up all the? I hate you. It's... All right. Fine. Mm. All right, consecration. There you go. For justice. Hit him in the face because I want to die to the stupid savage roar Trent thing. Why not? I fight. 
Pop our bubble. Kill our recruit to kill that guy. Hit him in the face. And... think we'll just put up a stealth panther here stealth panther there you go he might have set this guy up for a swipe which means if I play the dragon hawk it might just die but we'll see if he does that Trent savage roar thing that would give him two four six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen damage so I'll he still wouldn't quite have lethal and then I have 11 on the board so it's risky if he goes for that play here instead of trying to clean up my mess all right so he doesn't have that so I have 11 on the board he's doing three damage to everything now I think which Okay. Fair enough. Oh, shizzle. I think I won. I won. Well played. Let's give it to the cat. Hit him. Hit him. And the well play with the concentration. Take it and like it. Say bye bye. Give me those stars. They're mine. Mine. Bonus star! Yay! Alright. I'm gonna do one more. See if I could hit rank 12. And hit 51. Get a golden storm pike commando. One more match. 10 gold. Give me that loot. Alright. One more for you guys. Uno mas. Three in a row. Gonna go for four. Versus a shaman. If I say on motor. I will fight with honor. Alright, we're gonna keep the um, might and the true silver. We're gonna toss back the kings to try to get a minion that I could play. And there's a dragon hawk, which I'm gonna go ahead and play that on turn one. If he doesn't have something that's gonna do the one damage, like a rock biter or a frost shock or a Earth Shock or whatever. And then that Dragon Hawk might. And if he does use a card to remove it, then it's a card for card. It's a one cost card. And we'll see. That looks like a coin. Because it's in the position of the coin. There's the coin. And he's going to play a Fairy Dragon, which is fine. We're, we're happy about that. So now. We're going to. Buff him up. We're gonna hit him. Um, we could take out the fairy dragon, but if he didn't do something to kill the dragon hawk last turn, I don't think the drag fairy dragon is gonna. He's gonna have to. Hopefully, he just has to run his fairy dragon into my dragon hawk now. Can't leave my dragon hawk alive. That's for sure. You can't. You have to kill the dragon hawk. And he'll accident take another four damage, but he'll keep his. Uh, Little fairy dragon alive because of it. Which is fine, I got a heal in my hand. Um, got my A-bomb turn 5. We'll see if he uses an axe charge on my recruit. Or if he does something else. Okay, he's going to tote him up. He'll probably use his fairy dragon now since he says he... Oh. I thought he would have used his fairy dragon on my recruit since he's just going to get healed up from the thing. Kind of a waste of a charge there, I think. Because the dragon would have got healed from the one damage he would have took. Alright, so... We're going to do this. We're going to go ahead and take out that fairy dragon now. And, and turn... Uh, Avon might come out next turn, depending on what he plays, a golem. Yeah, I could A-bomb that. A-bomb him. 
I could also strangle Thorn Tiger and then Blessing of Might Him and Dark Iron Dwarf the Tiger on next turn, which would be 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I think we're going to do the A bomb though. Do the A bomb. Um. Do I want to hit the golem? No. No, we're gonna just enter. Cause if I would kill the golem, golem, he still would have had the two damage from the two one and the axe to kill my abomination, and then he wouldn't have been able to kill anything else on the board besides the two. This way, if he has to run his guy into it, he'll still die to the a bomb, and then. I think he'll make his little recruit guy before my A bomb goes off, right? And then the. Oh, is he hacking my A bomb? That's messed up. That's not cool. That is not. That is not cool, dude. Alright. Fair enough. We're gonna let all that happen. Here you go. Here's a tiger for ya. Now. Do I put the might on him this turn? Or have it be a surprise? I mean, he can't be targeted by the enemy minions, so... Can't really hex it or something. And I don't think he'll have any area effect that's going to do 5 damage, even with that spell power out there. But, I think... I think we end turn. I think... There's an elemental. And hitting me in the face. Alright. And brings out another axe. Um, okay. You might want a bloodlust next turn. I gotta gotta watch out for the bloodlust. So we're gonna Dark Iron Dwarf. We're gonna bless him might. We're gonna heal up because we're worried that he wants to bloodlust me. And we're gonna hit him for 10 damage. And we are going we can't kill this guy, so that's pointless. We're not gonna kill this guy, give him just two one. We're gonna just hit him in the face. And turn. What if he has a bloodlust? Bloodlust would give him three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, seventeen, nineteen. I don't think he could kill me with the bloodlust. So he needs more than that. Right? It might be pork lightning, four damage. Alright, I have a true silver in my hand and he doesn't have a taunt, so it's game over. We win another one, four in a row. End it with the true silver champion. Thank you. Thank you for coming. There's a golden. And if you want to see a golden imp master, that's what it looks like. You can have a look. Boom. And that's four in a row. Thank you for coming. Nice seeing you. Boom! Hit the Warsong Commander. Alright, so that's it for the deck. Right now I have my gold deck uh, pretty much where I want it. I'm not sure. I'm not quite at level 51 yet. It's almost there. Um, but this video is running a little long, so you guys might see the Storm Pike, Pike video in the next video, or Storm Pike Commander in the next video. Anyways, that's what I got right now. Um, anybody curious about my brother-on-brother -brother bashing tournament, I'm going to invite my older brother over for the championship. Tomorrow we'll be playing that game, so look for that video up to be later tomorrow. And uh, that will be that. that that's going to be the championship match between me and Jay Sinister. Jason. Um, so look for that. I have been Calibus, this has been Hearthstone, thank you very much for watching, and I will catch you next time.